guys and welcome to my channel Beaks and Cheeks. Well whether you have beaks or you have cheeks, this channel's for you. Last week you guys got to watch my animals reaction to us being out of town for about a week. If you missed that video go watch it because it's too cute to miss. But in that video I also mentioned that we were so graciously welcomed home to a couple of injuries from a few of our flock members. So today's video will be a vlog style video on how I put my vet tech skills to the test and treated some injuries sustained to one of my female ducks, Willow. All right, so here's the deal. We were out of town for about a week and for um, family emergency. And while I was away, spring started to bloom and uh, my ducks kind of went a little crazy. So when I came out this morning and I let them out of the coop, I found that Willow <clears throat> had some lacerations from the boys because the males in the spring can overmate the females and cause them injuries. And I was pretty upset when I saw the injury that she had sustained while I was out of town. Um, so we are going to bandage her up and then we're gonna separate the males cause they're buttholes. So let's do some first aid. It's always important to have a first aid kit on hand for any species of animals that you own. Um, and so this is my duck first aid kit. Haven't had to use it in a while, um, thankfully. But um, we're gonna see what we have that we can use to treat Miss Willow. The only thing I'm worried about is the laceration. One of them is around her eyes. And so you have to be very careful with eyes because there's a lot of medications that you can't use near the eyes because you don't want it to get in the eyes. So, I'm not super certain what I can use other than just some saline, but we're going to take a peek at it. We're going to do some first aid as best we can and then determine if she needs to be seen by the vet. Okay, um, I am going to get some saline up. Just saline for sensitive eyes. have some polysporin. Neosporin cannot be used on birds, but this polysporin is safe for ducks. It cannot be used near the eyes though, so we will see how bad that is. And I have some gauze. I have this antimicrobial hydrogel called Vetresin Plus. This is um, super useful. I haven't used it in a while, so it might be all gummed up and expired. Yeah, <laughs> it expired in 2019. I'm sure it's still good. It's super important to check your first aid kit every six months and replace anything that's expired. Obviously, I have not been doing that, um, so I'm regretting that today, so don't be like me, and I can't even get this open. Yeah, I think that's just out. All right, you go get the girl in question. All right, so she looks pretty rough, guys. You can see back here, she has some really red scalp and her eye over here is what I'm super worried about super mean boys so let's just see what we can do for her
All right, guys, so we treated her wounds with some saline, washed them out really nicely, um, determined that the eyeball is just a little swollen, but does not need emergent care at this time. We just washed it out really good and then applied some polysporin to the back of her neck, but not near her eye because that's not safe. And I need her wounds to stay nice and clean, so we have set up this hospital cage for her inside of our regular duck pen. It's just made out of PVC pipes and chicken wire, and I've put a litter box in there with water and her food. So she's safe from the others picking on her, and she has nice, clean environment, so those wounds won't get infected while she's healing. We'll continue to clean those wounds on a daily basis, apply more polysporin as we need to, and I'm going to order some Vetrisin Plus to have that on hand to use that because I really like that. And here are the buttholes in question. These are my three males, Waffles, Willard, and Kiwi, and they will no longer be allowed with the girls until the fall. Time to get them moved over. Alright, so I didn't catch it on video because I wasn't expecting it, but Waffles just flew out of the coop and is out here running around, so I have to go catch him out here. Alright, so the boys have been separated. Over here is my regular pen where the girls are staying. And there's Miss Willow in her hospital suite. Attached to it, I have this chain linked fence piece that makes a nice rectangle. I have a small coop here that will fit these three, anyways. And they have a kiddie pool with water and food access. And this is where they will stay until they molt in the fall. As you can see, they're very tore up about being separated. Just having the time of their life. Muddying up the kiddie pool. All right, my friends, it is time for a Willow update. As you can see, she is out of quarantine. Well, out of her hospital cage, because she is all good now. You probably can't even tell which one is her. So, I will zoom in. This girl right here is my willow. As you can see, the back of her head is completely healed. She just has a little bit of staining left on the feathers. And that eye is perfect. Let's see if I can catch her. I got her. There's the eye. It looks fantastic. You would never know the difference. Here's your other eye. See? Looks the same. No scarring. No cloudiness. Looks great. And then the back of her head. Looks good. You look good, woman. It has been about a month and Willow is doing great. I was really worried about her eye, but I'm happy to report that it is perfect. Events like this are why it is so important to have a first aid kit on hand for every species of animal that you own, because each one can have slightly different medication requirements. And when in doubt, always seek a veterinarian's advice. This video is for education and entertainment purposes only, not to teach you how to treat your animals at home.
I was only comfortable triaging and treating Willow at home because I had seen this exact scenario with my ducks before and I had everything that I needed on hand. And I was also prepared to take her to an avian vet if her symptoms did decline. In case you're curious, I have a list of links down below for all my Amazon recommendations for all the items I like to keep in my duck first aid kit. So take a look at that and while you're down there, if you liked the style of vlog video, leave a like so I know to do more like this in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week! Okay. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? the leaves. That's what it says.